Folktales of Hawaii, He Mau Kaau Hawaii, collected and translated by Mary Kavena Pukui, with Laura C.S. Green. The Story of Mikolo Lo. Mikolo Lo was a shark from the Kau district on the island of Hawaii. One day, he and his shark friends, Kua, Keali'i Kauo Kau, Pa Kaia, and Kalani, set out on a visit to Oahu. On the way, they fell in with other sharks all going in the same direction. Arriving at Pu'uloa, which is the place now called Long Hill off Pearl Harbor, they encountered Ka'ahu Paho, the female shark who guarded the entrance of Pearl Harbor. She had another body in the form of a net, extremely difficult to tear, with which she captured all alien sharks who entered her harbor. Her brother, Kahi'uka, the smiting tail, struck at intruders with his tail, one side of which was larger than the other and very sharp. These two and their followers were not man-eating sharks, and the people on land guarded them well, taking them food and scraping their backs free of the barnacles that attached themselves there. When the visitors arrived, one of them remarked, Ah, what delicious-looking crabs you have here! Now, man-eating sharks speak of men as crabs, and Ka'ahu Paho knew at once that some of the strangers were man-eaters. But she could not distinguish between the good and the bad sharks. Hence, she changed into the form of a great net and hemmed in her visitors while the fishermen who answered her signal came to destroy them. Kealii Kauo Kau changed himself into a pao'o fish which lives among the rocks and leapt out of the net. Kua changed into a lupe, as the spotted stingray is called, and weighed down the net on one side, helping his son Kalani and nephew Pakaia, who were half-human, to escape. But before anything more could be done, the fishermen hauled in the nets that they had brought to land, and poor Mikololo was cast upon the shore with the evildoers, where they were left to die of the intense heat. All were soon dead but Mikololo. Though his body died, his head lived on, and as the fishermen passed to and from their work, his eyes followed them and tears rolled down his face. At last his tongue fell out. Some children who were playing nearby picked it up and cast it into the sea. Now Mikololo's spirit had passed out of his head into his tongue, and as soon as he felt the water again, he became a whole shark. With a triumphant flop of his tail, he headed for home to rejoin his friends. When Ka'ahupaho saw him, it was too late to prevent his departure. Iolo o Mikololo i Keolelo. Mikololo lived through his tongue is today a saying among the Hawaiians, implying that however much trouble one may have, there is always a way of escape. Ka'ahupaho no longer lives at Pu'uloa, coming and going at will with her twin sons Kupipi and Kumaninini. But when the United States government built a dry dock for the Navy just over the old home of Ka'ahupaho, the natives regarded the proceedings with a superstitious fear. Scarcely was it completed when, after years of labor, the structure fell with a crash. Today, a floating dock is employed. Engineers say that there seem to be tremors of the earth at this point, which prevent any structure from resting upon the bottom. But Hawaiians believe that the smiting tail still guards the Blue Lagoon at Pearl Harbor.